Hi everyone. So Gemma 3 is here, Google's new family of open models. It's exciting to integrate such powerful models into your applications. But actually doing it can be tough. Getting these models deployed effectively and potentially tuning them often means dealing with complex infrastructure and frameworks. It can definitely be a real challenge. I'm Ivan Nardini, an AI developer advocate at Google Cloud. And together with my colleague Erwin, today we will show you how Vertex AI helps with those challenges, enabling you to tune and serve Gemma 3 for your AI applications. Gemma 3 builds on the same amazing research behind Gemini 2.0. It comes in four sizes, 1, 4, 12, and 27 billion parameters, which means that you can run Gemma 3 practically anywhere, from a smartphone right up to the cloud. Each size is tailored for different tasks and has different capabilities. What's really exciting is that the larger Gemma 3 models are multimodal. This means they don't just understand text, they understand images too. They can also handle multiple languages and process a huge amount of information at once, up to 128,000 tokens, which is like hundreds of pages of text. Gemma 3 models are powerful. But how do you leverage them effectively? Let's say you want their image understanding capabilities in your app, handling requests for many users. Or you need to fine tune them with your specific data to get just the right behavior. Doing this often requires you to know your way around specialized frameworks like transformers, VLLM, and many more. And have access to significant computing resources, which isn't always straightforward. So where do you get the compute power? And how can you handle all the complexity around tuning and serving these models, especially where many users need access? That's exactly where Vertex AI steps in. Vertex AI connects you to the Google Cloud's powerful infrastructure, including specialized hardware like GPUs and TPUs you need to adapt and serve these models effectively. A key part of this is the Vertex AI model garden. Think of it as a curated collection with hundreds of open models, including Gemma 3, of course, all verified and ready for you to use. What's really powerful about Vertex AI Model Garden is how it integrates directly with services like Vertex AI Training and Prediction. This integration, together with the training and serving recipes, provides straightforward ways to tune models with your data and deploy them reliably, handling much of the underlying complexity for you. It lets you focus more on building your application with those models and less on the infrastructure. In this first part, I will show you how fast it is to deploy Gemma 3 on Vertex AI. We will do it in just three lines of code using the new Vertex AI Model Garden SDK. Then my colleague Erwin will take over and walk you through fine tuning Gemma 3 also using Vertex AI. All right, let's jump into the demo. So here we are in a Colab Enterprise Notebook a familiar development environment for many developers. From the notebook, you can deploy Gemma 3 with just three lines of code using the new Vertex AI Model Garden SDK. First, we import the Model Garden library. Second, we tell Model Garden which Gemma 3 model we want. Here, we grab the 27 billion parameters instruction tuned version just by using its name. And third, we just call the deploy method. That's it. This single command tells Vertex AI to set up all the necessary infrastructure and deploy the model for us, creating a prediction endpoint. You can see the logs starting here. And if we switch over the Google Cloud Console under Vertex AI endpoints, there it is. The endpoint is being created, and Vertex AI is handling all the setup behind the scenes to serve Gemma 3. This usually takes a few minutes, so let's speed up the video. And great. The status is now ready, and our Gemma 3 model is deployed and live. Now, how do we use it? Back in our notebook, we can use the endpoint we created. We can just call the predict method, sending our prompt, in this case, hello Gemma 3, how are you? And there is the response straight from our deploy Gemma 3 model. But maybe you want to interact with it using a standard API, like the Jack Completions API, especially for multimodal tasks. Vertex AI gives you a compatible endpoint to that. Here, we are setting up a prediction request. Notice we are both providing an image URL, this picture of boardwalk 
we are passing to the model, and a text prompt. Describe this image in two sentences. So let's run this. And voila, Gemma3 analyzed the image and generated a description just as we asked. That's the power of Gemma3 unlocked using Vertex AI. So in just a few minutes and with minimal code, we deployed one of the latest Gemma3 models, got prediction with the Vertex AI Model Garden SDK, and even use its multimodal capabilities to our standard API. Now that you know how to deploy Gemma3 on Vertex AI, how can you adapt it to your use cases? Erwin, over to you. Thank you, Ivan. We've just seen how straightforward it is to take a Gemma3 model and deploy it on Vertex AI as an endpoint. But what if you want to modify the model behavior? Let's say you want to take Gemma3 and make it speak a very specific private language or understand your industry language or maybe have a specific classification task. That is where fine tuning comes in. Gemma models are open models. This means we can modify the weights through fine tuning. There's many different techniques of fine tuning. One example is full fine tuning or we update all of the model weights. Advantage is we probably can get a good performance for a use case. Downside is this is computational intensive. Another option is using parameter efficient fine tuning techniques, PEFT, like LoRa, or its quantized version, QLoRa. PEFT methods like LoRa are effective because they only trade a small additional number of parameters while keeping the original model weights frozen. So this reduces training time and compute requirements. The great thing is Vertex AI provides built-in support for fine-tuning Gemma 3 using this LoRa technique. Traditionally, fine-tuning large models can be complex, so requiring deep knowledge of training frameworks and significant infrastructure management. Just like we've seen with deployment, Vertex AI simplifies this process significantly by abstracting complexity like managing hardware away while still offering control over the fine tuning process. But how does this work? Before we can have a look at the demo, we need to make sure that our training data is in the right format. In this demo, we'll use a multi turn chat data set. So when fine tuning Gemma 3, on Vertex AI, you need to have your data in the JSON-L file format, where each line is a JSON object representing a single trading example. The example you see here uses roles-like system for overall context and instruction, user for the input prompt, and assistant for the desired output, guiding the model on conversation flow and expected response. Okay, now it's time to dive into the demo and see how we can fine tune Gemma 3 on Vertex AI. Let's start in Model Garden. This is the place where you can discover the Gemma models. What you see here is the Gemma 3 model card with all the relevant model info. From here, you have two options to fine tune Gemma 3. First, the code approach, which you can access via the open notebook option and if you select a notebook for fine tuning, this opens a Colab notebook, giving you maximum flexibility for customization and automation for retraining. The same route that Ivan took for deployment. Secondly, there's the UI first approach that you can access via the fine tune button, which we'll use in this demo. It's excellent for getting started quickly because it abstracts a lot of the complexity away. Let's start with giving the model a name for future references. Next, you select your base model. We'll use Gemma 3 1B. The 1B indicates the 1 billion parameter version. Smaller models often take less time to fine tune and have a lower inference time. The main idea is you start with a smaller model and prepare a working recipe using less resources to try. And when everything is ready, you can use a larger model for better results. If you want to keep the conversational capabilities of the model or more task specific capabilities, go with the instruction tuned. If you are teaching a complete new task, go with the PT version. Next, you have to select your output directory. 
This is where, during the fine-tuning process, your model artifacts will be stored. Now you can configure the fine-tuning hyperparameters. Key ones include epochs, which is the number of times the model sees the entire dataset. More epochs can lead to better learning, but too many can cause overfitting. The learning rate controls how much the model weights are adjusted during training. Finding the right rate is crucial. Too high can prevent conversions, too low makes training very slow. For this demo, we are using a multi churn data set, like I mentioned before, for chat. Let's also enable automatic deployment that once fine tuning is done, the model is automatically deployed as an endpoint. You are now ready to start tuning. Remember, fine tuning takes time. For this use case, it took 45 minutes to fine tune the Gemma 3 1B model. If you want to see all your currently running jobs and finished jobs, navigate to Training Pipelines. This is where you can see your fine tuning jobs. Remember that we set deployment to automatic once fine tuning is done. You can now navigate to Online Prediction, and this is where you find the endpoint of your Gemma 3 model, ready to be integrated into your use case. So in this video, you've learned how you can deploy Gemma 3 on Vertex AI as an endpoint using code, ready to be integrated into your applications. And you've also seen how to fine tune and again, deploy a Gemma 3 model on Vertex AI through the UI. So if you want to get started today, have a look at the model garden and Gemma 3 documentation below in the description. This will help get you started on your journey. <music>